Oh no, I can hear your I think some grandparents fighting in the background. Is that you? No, <laughs> my parents are watching Shits Creek. Uh but I wow. I, I am positive. Wait, why are they watching this show? Like I am not able to understand. <laughs> Please, my you have an opportunity. Is a big shit poster and she loves she loves comedy. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode of Son of a Beach. My name is a Beach Matthew. Now I really appreciate you guys watching this on YouTube. But the real reason I do this show, it's the live audience. And something incredible has been happening. It's been the same set of people coming for each and every taping. So much so that I know them by name. I know them by wall color. I know them by the sound the parents make when they're fighting in the living room trying to hide it from the people who are watching the show. We are almost like best friends right now. And because we are best friends, your problems are my problems. So that's why I got an expert to solve all my best friend's problems. She's apparently a professional at this. I mean, she seems to be a beauty blogger. Sonia? Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh. Hi. Oh my god. Hi. You are such a big fan of me. <laughs> wow. Thank, thank you for coming. The reason I got you here is because I feel like my entire audience currently uh, is going through something collectively. This They come for something. Your entire audience. <laughs> Amu. Oh. I don't really follow you on Instagram, but it's okay. I mean, I'm always there to help out smaller creators. Thank you. I appreciate. I appreciate you helping out smaller creators. Uh, Uh, but for now, I wanted to basically ask you for some advice. You know what? I think the best advice is. I think the best advice I want to give everybody is, um, you know, in lockdown, you should drink positivity water. Sorry. It's water that's positive. I think you really should drink positivity water. You can buy it on positivitywater. dot com, and you can use the code Sonia twenty. Are you doing a hashtag sponsored thing on my show? Oh no no no! I totally recommend the hashtag positivity water. You can buy it on positivitywater. dot com and use the code Sonia two zero, and you'll get twenty okay. percent off. So you're just saying you drink the water and you become like really positive. Yeah, you should try that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the reason we got you here is because there were three people who had asked us these questions online, and I thought I got to get a professional. And then my team said you are a <clears throat> professional. Okay. Uh, first up, we have a gentleman whose Instagram handle is underscore d three e's and double p. Uh, can you come put your video on if you don't mind? Yeah. So like uh, my question was. If ignorance is bliss, why do we seek knowledge? What are you gonna, <laughs> Sonia? <laughs> Sonia. Yes. Sonia, this if ignorance is bliss, why would you seek knowledge? Oh, I'm so I, I'm so sorry. I was just I was just quickly saying a prayer because you spoke about your hair, right? I mean, your life must be so <laughs> difficult to live with hair like that. <laughs> I I I just I was just praying. I'm sorry. Thanks. Um, next up, can I get uh, Robins dot Johnson? If you like to put your video Are on, you can come. How would you say no in general to people? I feel like you know my philosophy in life generally is uh, you know work really really hard to make yourself extremely good. irrelevant. <laughs> no, so you don't get asked. I mean, today I am in a position where I could say no to Gucci because they'll never ask. I could say no to someone else. <laughs> wow! So I just feel like really, really strive to reach the bottom. Okay. You know, there's one thing that you cannot say no to, and that is the positivity water. Oh, there. Oh, there. Yeah, at positivitywater.com, just <laughs> use the code Sonia and see you on your right. <laughs> What do you do when people ask you? Oh. How would you say no to them? Okay, it's a little, little bit of an exercise. Okay, could you try bringing your tongue to touch the top of your head, <laughs> top of your mouth, and mm. let's go? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Can everybody together say, everyone, put your tongue? Uh, no. 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 Beautiful. 
beautiful Great. beautiful beautiful sonia uh this is a, is there any advice uh you would like to give like me you should you should take a shower <laughs> <laughs> sonia i take showers every day oh my god baby then you need to do it better <laughs> positivity water you could yeah you could you look that is such a seamless plug <laughs> don't do it don't do it don't do it no and you can buy it at positivitywater.com and use the code sonia20 to get 20% off can i get a percentage of the positive water deal that you've been plugging so much about like oh, when a- you when you buy the positivity water you get 100% of it like the whole bottle comes to you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh everybody please make some noise for none other than Sonia Sonia thank you so much for coming on Abish I just want to tell you that this is my favorite podcast in the whole world it's a, it's a, it's a show it's oh, not I a know, podcast I know I know but every time you come on screen I just turn my video off <laughs> <laughs> Okay all right okay everybody make some noise for Sonia Sonia thank you for coming And now for no reason at all Zumbi Hey, you want to watch a movie? <laughs> hey, bro, your video was on the whole time. Oh, sorry. How do you put it up? It's cool. Our first guest is an actor, writer, comedian and is responsible uh for making this show happen because she kept the host alive through the lockdown. Please welcome my very good friend Sumuki Suresh. Oh, oh damn, Sumuki, you look fly. Abish, I told you to dress up. That's why I wore a hoodie cuz you told me to dress up so I did the anti dress up by wearing a hoodie. I wore pants. Look at me. I wore pants. I wore jeans. Well, you, you, I'm okay, cool. Uh Sumuki, but before anything else, I think a lot of people don't know this very fact about Sumuki Suresh and my relationship is that as soon as the lockdown happened, Sumuki reached out to me and realized immediately that this abish is an idiot he yes. doesn't know how to cook or do anything you literally video called me you asked me to open every drawer of my house in fact i made a list of friends who i thought would not survive does that make sense and the thing is abish is very hands on with work like if i give him a show saying that hey listen for the next 5 months you have to shoot a show during the lockdown he would do a fabulous job Which he is, okay, son of a bitch. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> are you? Are you? Shut up. Now. Yeah, exactly. When I called him and then I checked with him, saying that, hey, what are you doing? What's the plan? What are you doing for food? He's like, no, I'm eating whatever is left in the fridge. I'm like, okay, then what's the plan after that? And then he's like, I guess I'll just wait for the lockdown to lift. Oh, okay, okay. Before you, before you rain hell on me about my work ethic, uh, Dinkar, would you like to please put on screen the Excel sheet that Sumuki Suresh sent me? She <laughs> sent me an Excel sheet with the first tab that says menu plan, in which wow. it's written, "This is a simple menu plan. As you become better at making things, you can add things to the menu. Starts with <laughs> cereal, muesli, oats, granola, poha, upma, idli, coffee, bori, ali, ali." <laughs> <laughs> That's what it seems like. Who has peanut butter jelly sandwich for lunch? You know what is this? <laughs> Can I tell you? I made a very, I made a very racist assumption because if this was a, a person who was not Christian, I would not even feel that much. <laughs> uh, my building had was ordering vegetables for the entire building together to keep the interactions low. I ordered five kg gobi, five kg bindi. 5 kg beans I don't know 1 kg chilies I don't know what whose ass is he putting it up I don't understand but 1 kg ka mutti pada iske ghar pe hai I don't understand what's happening and the thing is I I he asked me to be fair to Abish he had did ask me saying that hey listen uh how much uh, uh, my building is buying vegetables and this is the quantity yes. is this right as a cookie cool yeah so my yes. when someone tells you this you are thinking building ke liye khareed rahe hain 5 kg ko bhi to sahi hoga I don't know this more <laughs> 
please don't call me. But I'm so glad he survived. Okay. You survived the lockdown. I did survive, and yes. I survived really well. Yes, Thank you very did. much. And uh, I I appreciate you helping me out for this as well. Always, yeah, always. Oh, I'm always ready Absolutely. to shame people for the kitchen stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so in that case, let's bring on our second guest of the evening. Our next uh, our next guest is a writer. He's a comedian, and he's been called one of the most exciting political comics in the country by the New York Times. Thankfully, I'm not talking about India as the country because then my show can continue for longer. So we'll make fun of the United States together. <laughs> All the way from foreign country, everybody makes a noise for none other than Hari Kondapolu. Hey! 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 There it is! There it is! Yeah. Hey, Hari! Thank you so much for coming. Uh, for everybody who's uh, who's wondering, and everyone's like, "Oh my God, Ashish Shakya!" No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I can't unsee this now. <laughs> <laughs> and the best part is, Abish is mistaken as Ashish, and Ashish is Abish. So now there are three of you. Yeah, Hari, thank you so much for coming. What time is it there right now? It is uh, 9:40 a.m. I see that you've taken a shower. Like I feel yeah, really good. I actually took the shower last night because I wasn't sure I would make it if I <laughs> took the shower. There, so I think for a lot of people who have no idea about the kind of work that Hari's been doing, is a uh, like political comedian and is also a social comedian. Was that the first trajectory you took? No, no, I, I'm more sensible than that. I uh, did it as a hobby when I was in high school, when I was 16 or 17, and then I, I went to college and I did it again. It was a hobby; it was fun to do. But you know, at that time, uh, Aziz had just, I think, had a show on MTV. Mindy Kaling was starting to show up on The Office. Russell Peters existed, but there wasn't really any other people. And I, you know. I don't want to, you know, I don't need to be uh, the example to other parents of like, this is not what should happen to your child. Um, so I kind of played it safe and did comedy as a hobby. And then it took off uh, in my early 20s when I was living in Seattle. But this is not like this was not the plan whatsoever. What was your plan? I was at my background is in um, organizing and community activism. So I used to be a immigrant rights organizer and I worked with refugees and immigrants and um, planned marches and, and went to detention centers with families. So like my job was like a serious job. I got discovered by the HBO Comedy Festival and I was on Jimmy Kimmel Live. This was in like 2007. And I still had work the next day. Like it wasn't like my life changed. I was on TV and you find that you get paid once for being on TV. And okay. nothing changes, except I have a thousand dollars, which uh, didn't last very long. I, I, I just gotta tell you, I think you were in the wrong talk show. So I think that things are going to change. I'm gonna say, yo, what up, yo? Mm, mm, mm. So I don't have thousand dollars. Just letting you know, if that's the expectation at the end of this show. <laughs> wait, I, I, wait, am I not getting paid at all for this? No, we are not. For real? Yeah. Like if, oh, he left. Oh. <laughs> so my name is uh, Miss oh, Okay, good. Okay, he's back. Oh, we are almost lost you there. <laughs> Thousand. Uh, okay, so very carefully, I shall weave the rest of the show. Uh, Wait, the question, I have a not, question. I have a question. Yeah. How many times did you ask Hassan Minaj until you gave up and, and went to me? You know what's interesting? I haven't asked Hassan a single time, but now really? that you brought this up, oh damn, Dinkar, let's, I was going to do this a little later part of the show, Dinkar, let's roll out what we've got. I'm going to put in front of everybody the email I sent to Hari Kondabolu uh, in 2009. Sumuki, so, would you like to, uh, would you like to partake Abs in this? I would love um, to. Am I needing it out? Is that what I'm doing? Would you, would you mind? Yeah, uh, no, I don't mind. I love personal emails. Please, I not again, visually. for everybody, this is 2009. I was a much younger, more insecure, very sincere as a... Please don't go by the grammatic... Okay, you know what, Sumo? Yeah, please. Okay, sir, first of all, that's so lame. What are you get, serving him chai or chai? <laughs> sir, like, I would just like to say, like, I'm now to perform on the 7th of June and at another venue on the 28th. Irrelevant info, I guess. Okay, so he was self-aware even then. Oh, this is uh, yeah, it's so like cheesy. It's so, yeah. Oh, this is like a, it's like an old letter that you, love letter you send someone. It's so like, uh, it's like, uh, it's, yeah. okay. In that time, I spoke to some various well-known media honchos. Oh, honchos, he knows, Ooh, but he does know basic grammar. 
<laughs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> Can I, can I answer your questions now? I, I'm sorry if I had. <laughs> can you put, yes, can you put it back on screen? Is Canada a good idea for education and acting? No. <laughs> is, is America a good choice to take for uh, by me for studies, work at a time of recession? No. What if I come and study <laughs> okay. in an acting school in the U.S. and try to work my scene in the comedy circuit from there? Uh, no, it's not a good idea. I uh, just need oh, help and guidance. Guy. Thank you so much for your time. Abish! <laughs> so, you know, at this point, that $1,000 oh. I made had long been spent. I was living at home with no, no money coming in and uh, no possibilities for career advancement. And you're asking me at that point, how do I make it to where you are right now? And honestly, didn't have to do anything to be exactly where I was. So, um, you know, I'm glad I was able to help you in hindsight. Such an earnest request, though. What a, what a nice email, Abish. Jokes apart, it, it was, was very, very sweet. sweet. Uh, it was very sweet. Wow. If it's I would have gotten the email, and if I would have been powerful, I would have put it put it in the trash. But I would have said... <laughs> yes. I would have said, I would have told my assistants while they're feeding me golden grapes that what an email. What a sweet boy. <laughs> One day he'll be in my audience. It was, yeah. it, was very, it was very sweet. And if I had read it, I, I, I might have replied. Now, so smoothly moving on to this. Uh, <laughs> currently, the way that we guys are all doing shows are over Zoom as such. Now, yeah. Sumuki has been doing a lot of show with us. Uh, Sumuki, how has it been? Are you enjoying the Zoom format, this format of a show? Or? Uh, I don't know. Shows, I mean, okay. It's a 50-50. Because I think the audience is having a great time. But I don't think we are having a great time because we're still figuring. But I think we, the snobs that we are, very really like, oh, I don't know how many laughs I got. That was not an applause break. La di da 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 da. So we are going through that in our heads. So. It's it's a it's a mixed bag because um, this isn't what I signed up for. I I don't want to look like this feels more like work than <laughs> stand up because it requires me like doing a conference call of some sort. But on the other hand, what I do like about it is uh there's no audience i like being able uh for the audience to k keep quiet throughout my set uh, i like the idea that uh, i can uh, just focus on what i want to say and uh, treat them the way i feel which is that they're irrelevant uh they have no <laughs> impact on the comedy because honestly what does the audience know uh, oh, wow. they don't know, the they don't know comedy how do they know <laughs> they don't know we're the experts we we know when we pause, you laugh there. This isn't hard. We talk, we talk, we talk. Change of tone, pause, laugh. They can't figure it out. I mean, I don't understand. This is the, an okay. easy job. Okay, let's try that out. For the audience who's here, who hasn't, uh, for everybody who's here, can you guys say woo, -woo? Okay. Can you just say a few syllables like a cadence of how a punchline should sound? Okay, so everybody remember when you got to laugh, okay? Very good. As long as I sell it so clearly. You just gave me a glimpse of what I sound like when I'm hosting things on Zoom. <laughs> and it doesn't sound very good being here where I am at. And I'm like, is that what I do? LF? Okay, never mind. Okay, talking about early stand-up sets. Okay, Sumuki, what were your first jokes? you remember your first joke ever? What was my first bit? My first bit was uh, how there's small talk and there's fat small talk. And the second one was I did I did a full story of how this guy, um, which did happen to me, is that my mom was uh, uh, trying, uh, had, I was on the Bharat Matrimonies and whatnots. I still am, I think. And uh, one of the guys called me. And the thing is, I was taking, I was buying a scooter at that time, okay? Okay. And I was buying a scooter and I was taking a loan for the scooter. And I figured it out. I was like, okay, taking the loan and everything. And there was this dude who called me. Hello, this is Rajan from IDBI Bank. Okay, huh. I'm like, oh, Rajan, don't worry. I've taken my loan and I kept the phone. I called again and said, hello Rajan, this is Rajan from IDBI Bank. I'm like, yeah buddy, I took a loan from HDFC. I'm sorry, I can't, I don't need one anymore. And third time he called and said, hello, this is Rajan from IDBI Bank. I fucking yelled at him, I'm like, what's wrong with you? Why you call me so much? I took a loan, lele, lele. And I hung up and then he called my mom and complained because this boy was set up to get married to me. 
So this was his thing to call me and talk to me. About, I'm like, your identity is IDBI Bank. What is happening, babe? And why would he go and complain to my mom? Because my mom called me. She's like, are you pressing me? Why you have to talk to your boy? Uh, uh, future husband could he could have been, but does not work at IDBI Bank. I'm like, why is he calling me and saying hello? This is what the fuck. Hari, do you have any of your old jokes? Do you know any of your first joke ever? Oh God! Uh, yeah, like, you know, yeah. Me... yeah. Now you uh, feel what I felt during that email read session, right? Oh, this yeah. is humiliating. Yes, yes. I, I did mostly stereotype stuff because I was sixteen and yeah. I knew that yeah. you know, white people would laugh at me making fun of myself. So <laughs> one was uh, when I was a kid, we used to play cowboys and Indians, and I was always an indian which is weird because i'm a hindu so i'm really a cowboy i like it i like it it was a waste of a uh, uh, of decent joke writing ability is what it was <laughs> well hari you can email me and i'll give you some advice on joke <laughs> hey wait wait hari i think i think you did a mistake because you performed it as you were performing at a live audience Can you perform this joke again, like you would do for like an online audience? Sure, 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 sure. Everybody, get ready. Go off mute. Get ready. This is the this is the money maker. Okay. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Uh-huh. Here All we right. go. Uh, when I was a kid, uh, I used to play cowboys and Indians, and I always had to be one of the Indians, man, which is ridiculous, yo, know, because I'm a Hindu, so I'm a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> A round of applause to the audience members for actually uh, really performing the laughter really well. <laughs> Now we're gonna go into our game. We've got a very fun game lined up for you. Okay, the game is very simple. Do you guys have a pen and paper yes. with you? Uh, pen, paper, yes, whatever. Yes. The yeah. game is called Sketch Artist. What we're gonna be doing through this entire thing is that both Sumuki and Hari will be looking away, and I'll be getting one person from the audience who I will be describing in the most beautiful manner, and you will have to paint their picture. And when you come back in, we will see whose is the closest, and the person and the audience gets to decide. Something as simple as that. All right. Now I would want you guys to look away. Yeah, but like, don't look here. Okay. Let's try to get a deco fir se. Agay. Give me a pose. Give me a pose. Ready? Here we go. Okay. Eyes like almond. Hair slicked back. Uh, but slightly angularly looking up. With the left hand over her left cheek and almost covering her eye, and smiling or crying, I can't tell. But it's a pose. <laughs> Once again, almond-like eyes, uh, hair slicked back, slight bit of a parting, left arm over the cheek, covering half of the eye, smiling slash constipated look. I'm not very sure, but it's the same genre of expression. All right, okay, all right. Seeing that pose, seeing that pose, hurry. Now, is it close? With your hands like this, it is not close. It is. Can you show me? Not. Can you show us? <laughs> okay, okay. It looks like an abstract painting. I love it. But what is what is the number nine face morphed? Since I used a stick figure, it's a stick figure hand on the side of her face. Okay. I'm, I'm okay, unsure cool. if she's smiling or not. So it's a smile and a frown at the same time. Well done. That is exactly what she was doing. That is correct. Now, Sumuki, let's see how close you were at this. Uh, you got to continue with the pose. <laughs> okay, okay, listen. Sumuki, sure. 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 Sumuki,
almost like Sonia was talking about positive water. His eyes look like he's perpetually stoned. His beard is like I'm just about to become a father. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a vibe. You get to wrap this up. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, pens up, pens up, pens up, pens up. Okay. Sumuki, uh, no, no, pens up. Look up, look up. Uh, yeah, yeah, hand, hand. Show me right hand. Show me right hand. Show me. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now turn and show what you got. Show sure. us what you got. Show us. Come on, Sumu. Come on. <laughs> 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 okay, let's let's go to the positive. She got the check shirt, right? So his nose, his nose was cut off at some point. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, hurry, what you got? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? That is, what is this Rick and Morty alien ass character no, you've a, got going? Beard. <laughs> <laughs> hurry, okay. made a balloon animal. That's beard. Can you explain what is the mouth frothing that's happening? That's his beard. Oh my god, the eyes! Are exactly like his eyes. Oh, it's. My eyes are exactly like his. No, no, your <laughs> eyes are on cocaine. His eyes are on me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rohit, uh, if Sumuki and uh, Hari show you, who would you go with and why? I think Sumuki because. Uh, Yay! Thank you, Rohit. And thank you so much, Kamai. Thank you, thank you so much. Now we need to go for a final tiebreaker. Last person, who do we get? And the last person sleeping my life away. Hey, Subuki, don't look! Don't look! Don't look! Don't look! Don't look. Shit, everything's calling! Yeah, don't look towards the camera. I mean, I know why I'm doing this. There you are. Okay, lovely. Okay. <clears throat> Give us a nice pose. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, nerdy glasses. Uh, hair tied up all the way back. Big forehead. Um, um, uh, knuckles resting on the cheekbone of the right cheeks. Uh, while the right elbow is connected to the table, I mean, just giving you the physics of what the look is. The face looks like a disappointed sister with, because the younger brother just failed his math in grade 6. And she's looking at the younger brother with complete disdain saying that you were adopted. That kind of a vibe. Very cool blue t-shirt. Um, uh, a dimple, 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 smiling, smiling, dimple, 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 um, that's all, I can just see dimples now, and, uh, and time stops, stop, hurry, first impressions, is it close, not close, Sumuki, stop cheating, oh, okay. no, not, it, well, no, okay. no, actually, no, I, yeah, it's good, it's good, Sumuki, get ready to be disappointed, uh, sleeping my life away, uh, <laughs> here we go, <laughs> See, what I is the you clean it? I need you clean it. Is that a dimple or a mole? That's a dimple. <laughs> That's not a dimple. That's a mole. How is she supposed to show dimple? Why is she angry as fuck? <laughs> Only said no. She's angry with the adopted younger brother. Blah blah blah. Oh. Ah, hello. So, I wanted to give her cleavage because I wanted her to empower her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, Hari, do you have something uh, I, uh, more respectable than what Sumuki yeah, had? I gave him. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Okay, you ready? You ready? Yeah, yeah, we're ready. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's, it's, Why it's, are the spectacles in the <laughs> Well, he, he never he never told me that he never said whether you had ears or not, so I didn't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'll, no, I'll think sleep. I'll go with Sookie. So okay. <laughs> cleavage wins. Cleavage wins. <laughs> 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 Yeah, but Abish, I, I had to tell you something that uh, uh, the thing you said uh, that I looked like a disappointed sister of a <laughs> younger brother, that's actually correct. Yes. <laughs> oh. 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 oh my god, what are the chances? He's, and he's really bad at maths. <laughs> oh, wow. dude, oh, oh shit. It seems like I'm the real winner because I, I truly painted a better picture of you than both of these guys, to be honest. Ha.
<laughs> thank you so much for coming to the episode. This was really fun. Uh, Hari, thank you so much for waking up so early, agreeing to come be part of this. Uh, Hari's special is out on Netflix right now. You should definitely go watch that out. Um, Sumuki's special is out on Amazon Prime. But thank you so much, both of you, for coming. This is incredible. You guys made it really special for me. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you, Abhi. Thank you so much for having us. Bye. Five star do nothing list. You know what really bothers me is when you send a message to your friend and you see the ticks go blue, but no response. Then I'm left wondering, wait, did I do something? Is my friend busy? Did they see my show? And if you think your friends ignoring you is bad, when I message a blue tick on Instagram inviting them to come on my show, but they leave my message on just seen, it's way worse. Also, if you are that blue tick watching me, respond please. So, here's what I do. I do nothing. Because it's not about who the show is with, but it's about who the show is for that matters. You. You matter. You are the four I was talking about. Five star do nothing list. Stages with this track, Forget Conversation. He's been releasing a lot of singles from his upcoming album now, so make sure you check it out. Also, you've heard about our lovely friends from Feeding From Far who are doing some incredible work. And thanks to you, they've been able to raise 666,000 rupees. Or like 666,000 rupees. Call it whatever, it's an incredible amount and I'm sure we can do more. So make sure you donate as much as you can, as frequently as you can. The link is gonna be in the description. Now with that, it brings us to the end of the show. Thank you so much for watching. It means a lot. Uh, special thanks to all my friends who made the show possible, especially this friend, because this friend cooks really badly and I'm glad he stays with his mother. Like this friend, acquaintance, I guess. This is my bestest friend. No, no, the guy below you. No, no, you. No, I meant you. No, I meant you, Baba. You're all my best friends. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for doing this favor for us. That's so cool. Uh, make sure you subscribe because you are my true friends, right? <laughs>